We have a substantial number of Sierra Leoneans working in Lebanon, and with the escalation of the conflict in southern Lebanon, um, uh, we, we are very concerned that our citizens uh, at the moment at the hot spot of the conflict. And um, as a government, uh, and, and, and we're very much concerned, and we, we're working with uh, partners uh, such as the International Organization for Migration and all the stakeholders of the government of Sierra Leone to ensure that our citizens are safe and uh, with the aim, the ultimate aim of repatriating our citizens to Sierra Leone. I have um, a, a good number of Sierra Leoneans there. Some are undocumented immigrants and some have gone through work programs. But, you know, what has made it, it very difficult for us to, um, uh, to, to jump in and take a readily um, you know, available actions is the fact that we do not have a direct trade employment agreement with Lebanon, which has made it very difficult for us to get a statistics on the number of uh, our folks that are working in, in Lebanon. We are now faced with a situation where we have to work uh, with the leadership of the Sierra Leonean immigrant community, uh, communities in Lebanon and with the IOM and other international humanitarian organizations to establish um, you know, where Sierra Leoneans are to congregate them for repatriation. So government is in the country at the moment having meetings with, um, you know, multi-sectoral stakeholders, such as the Ministry of Labor and Employment, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, uh, which has the Immigration Department, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Ministry of Communication to ensure that we send the right message to our citizens um, and to also um, you know, ultimately ensure that our citizens are safe. Our citizens are dispersed across Lebanon. Um, we're very aware that a huge number of uh, our, our compatriots are in southern Lebanon, and uh, we've been getting calls directly as Minister of Foreign Affairs, of course, my ministry, from uh, some of our citizens. And so with the IOM that has got presence in Lebanon, we are coordinating. For my fellow compatriots should know that the government and the people of Sierra Leone uh, haven't forgotten about them. We're very concerned, and that they should make sure they should ensure that they move away from the hotspot um, and and move to areas that are identified as safe areas, uh, so that when we um, when we make the, when we get into Lebanon to get them uh, repatriated, that they are, we're able to meet them in safe areas.